Alright, it's a lovely day today, guys. On the balcony. In the background, we've got online teaching. It's a presentation that Annie's doing. Uh, we're going to go, we were going to have bangles tout au long, um, chorizo sausage, and rice today. Um, but uh, we had a little problem. We've got the rice, look at that, very, very nice. And uh, we've got the tortolong, there we go. And then we've got the little chorizo sausage, so we've got a Filipino breakfast. There's Annie. Uh, the reason Annie's got this sausage here on its own, because she drops it on the floor. <coughs> um, we've got the <coughs> calamansi um, Maggie, which goes with the rice. And uh, Annie's making a cup of coffee. And we're here <coughs> on the balcony. Oh, very, very, very nice. Wakey, wakey, wakey. It's Tuesday. Uh, feeling better. I had a good night's sleep last night, which is cool. Um, Posted a vlog yesterday about fake ID and it's got big. It's got big. As of this morning, the uh, the head of the civil reg registration in uh, Santa Cruz, which is down near Digos has been suspended because they found 1,200 anomalies of a late uh, birth certificate registration. One of those is a, an accountant or a guy that applied using his Philippine documentation for a US visa. And he's an Antoneo accountancy student that is now under investigation with his mother, who works in Yangorin, and the father, who's back in China, because he came here when he was 10 on a Chinese passport, but now he's a Philippine citizen. Interesting, really, isn't it? Anyway, it's blown up. And the other thing that's uh, come out of it is that once somebody gets given a Philippine birth certificate and gets a Philippine passport, they no longer, as a foreigner, are policed by the BI. They're no longer part of that BI governance. So the BI don't do anything about it. It sits with the PSA and the uh, internal affairs and foreign affairs in the Philippines and that is a big 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 loophole isn't it because when a foreigner gets given a, a Philippine birth certificate the BI have no responsibility for it anymore so they walk away from it it's what happens when you don't have a coordinated police force immigration force customs force they don't all work work within the same parameters and they don't all work in the same processes because it's not my job it's no longer a foreigner he's a filipino so that becomes pmb right or wrong it's the way it works anyway so watch this space because it's getting bigger uh the new report has come out this morning at uh, 803 uh, and it's with the Phil Star, Filipino Star Global. Uh, you can read all about it, it's all in there, but it's all in Davao del Sur, and it went from 200 people to 1,200 people in less than, less than a day. So now it's becoming an issue because people are applying for resident this birth certificate and getting falsified documentation in the Philippines and then applying for American visas and American green cards and American 
ID. Oh, look at that, caught along. <laughs> I've just taken a bite out of this uh, chorizo sausage, thinking it was going to be spicy and paprikery and everything like that. And <laughs> it's sweet. Filipino <laughs> it's Filipino breakfast. <laughs> it's sweet. My God, it's so sweet. Oh, dear me. But anyway, where, where, where's Antoinette? There we go. This is Antoinette in the morning. The teacher's doing the online lesson and Annie's kind of having a breakfast because we can hear her yaki, yaki, yaki. It's all about rote learning. Listen to me when I'm talking to you online and then go off and do find your Google paperwork. Teaching has changed since like when I was at school. Yeah, you used to have to go to school, sit there, the teacher was there, go through it. Now you sit there, look at your computer, they'll talk, talk to you. And that woman could turn around and be 100 miles away. Anyway, life in the Philippines. Oh, she turned around and said she's back tomorrow. Okay, darling, off you go. Go to the Adelaide next class. Next class. So this coffee is Nescaf with my milk. And this coffee <laughs> is a three-in-one that Annie loves. Um, I don't think it's got any coffee in it. I think it's got some brown sludge powder or something. Really, really sweet. And it's got the milk. But Annie loves this. Um, she lives on it. Room to get in the classroom of the next teacher. Oh, okay. When she, ac when she accepted, then the classroom was back there. Did you get the key? Ta da! Oh, I was not sure we're not going to get locked out here. Yeah, we're not going to get locked out like we did last time. Okay. So, how was your school today, darling? Um, it's okay. It's just talking about the um, types of kinds of organizations, what kind of a person are you in an organization, okay. if you are a knowledge contributor, if you're a listener, if you're a mediator. You're a you follower, are, a doer, yeah. then or teacher, sit in the back and hide. The teacher thought I'm the knowledge contributor because in the class, if no one will, <laughs> if no one will answer any questions, I volunteer so that others will follow because if no one will volunteer. You are the leader, darling. I don't like to be a leader. Annie for the but, presidency of the Unite of the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> and today, mother, do motto. No, and then, but I was thinking. So the teacher assumed that I'm a knowledge contributor in an organization when yeah. I was working. But when Ben Mark says, um, the teacher is right at that. I said no, she's not because when I was working, I am more on just uh, listening to their crazy ideas. And then when there is a problem, then I become a problem solver because they always. They just think of the ideas, but they don't know what's the if there's something happened. They don't know how to what I resolve the problem. Resolve the problem. They just come up with anything. So no, I ended well, up yeah. resolving the ideas. That's good, darling. Yeah. Mm. So what's the next lesson? Oh, that will be our economics. Economics. Mm. Okay. Well, all the best with that. that. We're going to enjoy breakfast. Yeah. Take care, guys. This is us on the balcony. Wow, okay, so Annie's going to have the aubergine, the tortolong. Uh, and when you do the tortolong, if you're in the provinces, uh, they have the charcoal in a dirty kitchen. They'll put the wash the aubergines off and then dry them. And then they'll charcoal the outside and peel off the skin. And then slice the aubergine and then turn around and mix it <coughs> with some egg. No flour in the egg. And then they will fry it in some oil, making it a little bit crispy. What they turn around and do when you've got uh, an apartment you'll take the aubergine you'll slice it and you'll put it in a frying pan and you'll cook it with a little bit of steam to soften it then you'll dip it into some egg that's got some flour in it and then you'll fry it uh, and normally put it with tomatoes a little bit of soy and um, onion and you have that for your breakfast but me and Annie keep away from the tomatoes and the onions because it's too much acid uh, so that's a little bit of a cooking tip for you guys um, these things, I don't go anywhere near. Ah, everything comes tins, little tins like that. Thirty-five peso, six sausages, and oh, look at that! 
So we buy a japonica rice, a yellow japonica rice. Uh, it's about 235 peso for two kilos. So uh, we buy that because it's already washed and it's already graded. Uh, I have had maize and uh, other cheap rices, but they all seem to blow up, pop, and absorb all the water. But uh, I'm just finishing off my coffee. I've had some lunch, well, breakfast, and uh, it's 10 o'clock now, so uh, it's very, 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 very humid today. Uh, I'm going to post some videos or pictures at the end of this of two subscribers I met on Sunday, on Saturday, and some food I had with Annie's teacher uh, on Saturday. We met Annie's uh, uh, stocks and shares and investment teacher uh, and had a great afternoon. Met her family, they came all over from Turil. But I'll post that in a minute. Take care. Welcome to my vlog. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. You are. Oh, we have COVID. Nice to see you. Como esta? Oh, Pugi Pugi, huh? Pugi Pugi. Shout out. Shout out. Papa Col. Papa Col. There we go. Very, very nice. Oh, look at that. We have pork chop vegetables oh look at that oh filipino salad mom what do you have corn oh corn oh we're eating corn look at that very 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 nice so this young lady here is annie's teacher from school they've just finished doing the investment course and then what do you have on the end there pork belly two belly pork belly Barbecue. Oh, barbecue pork belly. Oh, it's only 9,545,000 <laughs> calories. Oh, there we go. That's what makes it good. And then, and then Annie, what are you having, Danny? I have the salmon with mango salsa and a bit of salad. Annie's got man mango salsa with some salmon. So Annie likes salmon. But she's also ordered a salad. What are you having to drink? Get Coke. Yeah, where, where are they? I know. Oh, you're waiting for riblets. Yes. So this young lady's waiting for riblets. This is daughter number one. This is daughter number two, and this is Atti. Hey, Guapa, como esta? Lovely. Look at that. These young ladies live in Turil, near Sirawan. There we go. Oh, okay. And he's doing some chewy, chewy, mixy, mixy. It's tuna, this one. Tuna? Okay, I thought it's something. Oh, it's tuna. Oh. So this here is white tuna. It sounds good. Oh, looks very, very nice. And he's got a pink drink at the end there. Strawberry shake. Strawberry shake. So much sugar, so much syrup, so many additives. Make a hair it's drop fresh. out. Make a hair. <laughs> Fresh strawberries. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh look at that. So we have some vegetables. We have some salmon, but it's not really salmon. <laughs> it's called tanigi. So we don't know what happened with this one. Maybe they run out of salmon and they don't want to tell anybody. And then they have some yellow rice. But we're still waiting for the riblets. <laughs> the fourth is still running around. Yeah, so the, the, four, the four main courses have arrived, but the fifth one, He's still in transit from Manila. <laughs> well, we're only having a joke. Don't take me literally. Don't take me seriously. We're getting there slowly. 